poppy family and which way you're going, Billy Singer. Susan Jacks has passed away. She was 73 years old. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. One of my radio friends who knew her told me this morning, he said, there was a woman who was beautiful on the outside and inside. Just a kind heart with incredible talent. She was born Susan Pesklovich, August 19th, 1948 in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And she died yesterday, April 25th, of kidney disease. She was 73 years old. Susan Jacks was part of a big family, eight kids. And when she was just a child, the whole family moved to the Fraser Valley in British Columbia, outside Vancouver. It seemed like she was always a singer. When she was 15, she was part of a Canadian national TV show called Music Hop. When Susan was just 18 years old, she met Terry Jacks, who she would later marry. But a lot of you, of course, would know Terry Jacks from Seasons in the Sun. I'm going to capture you, Concrete Sea. I'm going to love you too. If you go away, rock and roll, I gave you the best years of my life. And Christina. Eventually, they would get together on a more permanent level, both personally, of course, and professionally, in a band called the Poppy Family. And their big breakthrough hit, and we're talking about not just in Canada, all over the place, was Which Way You Going, Billy? A number nine hit in Canada, number two in the US, and it reached the top 10 in the UK as well peaking at number seven. That was 1969. By the following year, they hit the top 10 with That's Where I Went Wrong and Shadows on the Wall. In 1971, they had three hits. I Was Wondering, Where Evil Grows, which by the way, peaked at number six, and the number eight hit, No Good to Cry. Their last top 10 in Canada was in 1972 with Good Times. Susan Jacks was also successful as a solo artist. Her first big one was in 1973. But the Canadian hit, You Don't Know What Love Is, it peaked at number three. The same year, I Thought of You Again, and by the mid-70s, she'd have minor hits like You're a Part of Me, and the top 20, Anna Marie. As mentioned, Susan was having health problems for the last few years, but just in March, March 7th, she wrote this on her Facebook. This was her last post. I'm so sorry for being out of touch for so long. I had a rough 2021 and spent some time in the hospital, but I'm feeling much, much better now. Thank you all for being so concerned. It really does give me strength. I'm looking forward to a great year. Almost 400 people commented on that post wishing her well. I say this a lot on this channel, but reputation is someone else's business. You're not in charge of your own reputation. Other people make up their minds. And from the outpouring of love from my former colleagues at 14C Fun, which was one of those monumental classic radio stations in Vancouver, many of which knew her because she'd show up at the radio station and thank the announcers for playing her music. She was part of the music community in the Lower Mainland. She even showed up at the Seafun reunion a few years ago, looking fantastic, by the way. What an unbelievably talented lady she was. Big part of music history in this country. May she rest in peace, and here we'll ask you, did you know her? Did you ever meet her, see her in concert, some of your favorite songs by Susan Jacks? please leave it in the comment section. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Susan, rest in peace. This is Rock History Canada.